Hey, and how's everybody doing today? Welcome to my video for the activation lock bypass. I know you guys have a lot of problems with this. There's a lot of videos out there that just do not do the right thing. They don't help you at all. They try to make you pay for something. The methods are broken. This is a recent method. Today is September 10, 2016. It works for iOS 9.3.5 and beyond. And any iOS before this. This will work on any devices. Uh, right here we have an iPhone 6. And it will work for any of your iPhones, any iPads, any iPods. Any device with the iP activation lock, this will fix. So to just let me show you that this device has the activation lock, I will first power on the device. Uh, we will be coming out with activation lock breakthroughs for the Android as well. But for right now, this tutorial will only be for Apple devices. There, this uh, bypass is 100% free. There's no DNS servers. You don't have to pay for anything. You will break through the activation lock in this video. Nothing is needed besides your device and a connection to iTunes. So let's begin here by, by me showing you that this device has iCloud or the activation lock. Okay, so we are already connected to a Wi-Fi network. Seems to be taking a while. Let me plug it into the laptop I have here. And hopefully it will fix things that way. Plug it in there. There we go. As you can hear, it's plugged in now. And I'll bring you up here to my computer. Waiting for it to connect. There it is. And there it is. This iPhone was lost and erased. Enter the Apple ID and password that was used to set up this iPhone. Activation lock. So I'll go back to here on the device. Back. And yeah, this is the device that is plugged in. You can see you can run cord straight to the computer. Okay, so this device has the activation lock. So what you want to do now is to hold. You're going to want to put it into recovery mode. Hold the power and home button at the same time. Now let go of the power button, continue to hold the home button. There you go. Your iPhone is in recovery mode. Okay. Now what you want to do here is not press any of these buttons here. You want to keep it in recovery mode. Now locate your nearest Apple Watch. Make sure that Apple Watch is completely restored to factory settings. What you want to do with that Apple Watch is hold the power button. After you reset it, you want to shut it off. So after it's shut down, power the Apple Watch on. Keep the phone in recovery mode. The Apple Watch is still booting up. It doesn't matter which Apple Watch you have, any model will work.
way it works is is that once it's paired, it goes to the home screen, correct? Well, the phone will also get the home screen at the same time because it is not at the home screen and that's where it needs to be at once the Apple Watch is done pairing. So as you can see it's in DUF, DFU mode, which is also called recovery. I press the home button and press the power, there's nothing, no screen, but it's still recognized on the computer. So my Apple Watch is still powering up. Let's give it a little bit of time here. And by the way, they cannot patch this until they add a new Apple Watch to the system. So you guys will be able to do this bypass for an extreme amount of time for many updates to come. Still powering up, so should be done here very soon. All right, there we go. I think it's done. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's your Apple Watch is reset, right? You want to select English, and then it'll go straight to the screen that says "Open the Apple Watch app on your iPhone and start to tap start pairing." Now you don't need to do that because the closest iPhone is right here. So once it's in the pairing screen with the weird dust mites moving image you just leave that go. So let the Apple Watch go. Do not do anything else from here. That is all you need to do from the Apple Watch. Now you want to go back to your iPhone and you want to hold down the power and the home button again. And then once you see the logo, let go of the buttons. Okay. Now once the phone is back on, you want to go back here to the Apple Watch and press the back button, back button again, and then once you're back to the language screen, you want to turn the wheel down to the last language. Once you're down to there, hold the power. Power into low power mode. Okay, now that that is done, you will notice the device is still in the activation lock. Now, what you want to do from here is you want to turn your device back on, turn the screen back on, whatever you want. Um, you don't need a SIM card for this, just making sure with you from that. Select English, country, and then you want to choose another network. Now from here, you're going to want to type in Apple Watch, sorry about that, you're going to want to type in Apple Watch Pairing. Okay, so now you're probably wondering what we're doing here. Well, what this does is that it fools the phone into believing that you're pairing an Apple Watch. And by default, once an Apple Watch is paired, it takes your phone back to the home screen. And by doing that, it actually takes you past the Apple Watch, I mean the activation lock. 
So that way you're past the activation lock and there will be no iCloud account linked to your device. So you will be free to use the account for what you want. And for security, make sure you select WPA2 Enterprise. Username. You want to do all capital, pair, and then for password, you want to do watch. Oops. Watch. And then from there, you're going to want to go back to security and then go to WPA, go back to other network. And then from there, you want to, here, give me a second to pull up the, my written tutorial here. Okay, just opening up my... Documents folder. It's a little slower, probably because I have the secrets for the device. Okay. Now, what you want to do is share your device. is still into plugged into the computer now let me type in my password for my briefcase documents Okay, sorry about that. So once you have this in, you want to go and select WPA2, go back. Change the password again. All capitals, pair my device now once now you want to wait a second okay once you join cancel Okay, now once you get to this step, you actually are going to need a SIM card. I checked my steps, and I figured that you actually do need a SIM. See, as you can see, I have no SIM in here. Now, I'm going to grab a SIM for my... to take out the SIM tray
And now, once you have the sim in the tray, put that in. your USB cord, plug the cord back in. Now once you're there, you want to hit next. Give that a moment. And from here, it's probably going to take a little bit because it's still connecting to the servers. But once it's done connecting, it should be ready to go. Okay, and there you have it. The phone should be all good. Let me just bring it out here for you. Continue. Passcode, don't add passcode, continue. Set up his new iPhone. Just taking a little bit there. But you get the point. We are now past. You are now past the activation lock of the device. And it's just loading now. It's just taking a little bit because it's the first time setting this up. I think it also updated the carrier settings. So let's just wait for this to happen a little bit. And while we're waiting, I'm just going to pop the sim out of here. Okay, and then agree to the terms and conditions. Turn on Siri, don't send, standard, next, welcome to iPhone. And there you have it guys, the phone has been brought to where you need to be. And you go into general here and about or go to down to iCloud and no iCloud devices on the thing. So I am glad you guys saw this tutorial and I hope it really helped you to remove the activation lock from your device using an Apple Watch. So thank you guys for watching this video. See, welcome to your new iPhone. It's ready to go. Just uh Comment, rate, subscribe, and yeah, no problem for this tutorial. Completely free. Do not pay, do not pay anyone to do this for you. This is the real vibe pass for the activation lock. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you very much. Peace. See you later, and have a great day.